Good evening. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Fordyce, where 11 civilians were shot outside a grocery store this morning. Sadly, three of those people have lost their lives. Authorities say two police officers were also shot. They sustained non-life-threatening injuries, and the shooter has been taken into custody after being critically injured by law enforcement. Channel 7's Ryan Houston is anchoring our coverage of this mass shooting in Fordyce today. He joins us now live. Ryan, what can you tell us? This, this is still a very active scene. Uh, as you can see, crime scene tape surrounds one, two, three, four, five different businesses. I've counted 20 or more different law enforcement cars still here on the scene as officers try to figure out exactly what happened. Now, there are a lot of questions, but what I can tell you, uh, according to state police, they first started getting calls about a shooting here at the Mad Butcher grocery store around 1130. They say when they got here, that's when they saw a gunman who actually started shooting at them. They returned fire, according to police, at the gunman. We know that, as you just mentioned, Beth, two officers were injured. They have non-life-threatening injuries. We know that the gunman was also shot. They expect the gunman to recover. We know that 11 people were shot. Three people have died. We also know that the victims have been taken to Little Rock, to UAMS, to be treated for their injuries. Arkansas State Police just wrapped up a news conference. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Hager. Uh, I'm the Secretary of Department of Public Safety and the Director of the Arkansas State Police. We're going to give a brief statement um, of facts, not answer any questions at this time. First, uh, this situation is secure and it's contained. Uh, there are no active threats to the community. At approximately 1138, 911 calls were received that there was an active shooting situation at the Mad Butcher grocery store in Fordyce. Law enforcement responded immediately and exchanged gunfire with a lone suspect. Unfortunately, we can confirm that 11 innocent civilians were shot and three of those are deceased. Two law enforcement officers were injured in the exchange of gunfire. The suspects were also shot, sorry, the suspect was also shot and taken into custody. The injuries to the officers and the suspect are not considered life-threatening. The remaining civilian injuries range from non-life threatening to extremely critical. The investigation is in its early stages and we have no information or no more information that we can release at this time. The Arkansas State Police will be the lead investigative agency and all media inquiries should be routed through our communications department. We do anticipate a further news release later in the evening. I've been in constant contact with Governor Sanders uh, she's committed any resources needed to aid in this investigation or any support needed for the community of Fordyce and Dallas County. To reiterate the total numbers, we had 11 civilian shots. Three of those are deceased, and we do have some that are critical. We have two law enforcement officers that were shot. Uh, neither of their injuries are considered to be life-threatening and we had one suspect that was shot, is in custody, his injuries are also not life-threatening. Uh, just on behalf of the state police, the law enforcement community, all public and first responders, um, it's tragic, our, our hearts are broken. Uh, our prayers along with Governor Sanders, the entire state of Arkansas will be with this community and with those affected victims. Thank you. Our hearts and prayers definitely go out to the victims. Now I'm gonna bring in Channel 7's Emma Allen. Emma, you were here earlier today and you mentioned that you talked to witnesses who were in the parking lot when the shooting happened. Yes, so earlier today, um, we talked to two teenagers that were in their car right outside the Mad Butcher. Their mother was actually in the grocery store and they were so worried that their mother would actually be one of the victims, but they did say that they saw the shooter in what looked to be camo khaki shorts and also a large gun. and they they heard uh, gunfire and they thought it was fireworks from the fireworks stand, but eventually they
they did realize that uh, it was a gunman and they had to hide and get below the seat to make sure the gunman didn't see them and they just said that they held each other's hands and prayed and they also said that stuff like this just doesn't happen in Fordyce. Nothing like this has ever happened. People that have lived here for years say that, you know, the crimes happen but nothing to this magnitude. But I did speak to one uh, person that she had her grandparents in there and uh, she said that she was so worried that her grandparents were in there and she made a call to them and here she is now. So when I come to Mad Butcher to get some lunch, I'm coming to get some lunch, not to be worried about our lives. And I felt like the active shooter didn't think about no kids. He didn't think about the people that was around in the gene with people who lost their lives just because they was going through something. I felt like if you was going through something, you should have talked to somebody. Like, you know, I work at Mill Creek. I, I, we could have talked to you. Some, somebody out here is to help you. We're willing to always help. Community members in Fordyce are remaining resilient through this hard time. They say don't, they don't really know what the next steps are going to look like, but they do want prayers from everybody throughout the state, of course. All right, Emma, thank you so much for that. So, you know, Beth, I can tell you that we know that police, firefighters, and hospital staff, they train for mass casualty incidents throughout the year, mass shootings, because that is just the world that we live in. And as you can see today, they're going to put that training to good use. In Fordyce, Ryan Houston, on your side. All right, Ryan, thanks so much. And our thanks to Emma as well. We'll check back in with Ryan coming up a little bit later in the show for an update on this tragic story out of the small town of Fordyce today. Meanwhile, reaction to this mass shooting pouring in today. It prompted immediate public responses from leaders across the state. Seven on your side's Lisa Hudson joins us with what they're saying tonight. Lisa. Beth, lawmakers and the governor are weighing in on the events in Fordyce. Representative Bruce Westerman of the 4th District that includes Fordyce said, I'm grateful for the quick response by law enforcement and first responders on the scene in Fordyce this afternoon. My office is in contact with local officials and I will continue to monitor the situation as details emerge. My prayers are with the victims and their families in the entire Fordyce community. Governor Sanders also weighing in. She says, I have been briefed on the tragic shooting in Fordyce and I am in constant contact with state police at the scene. I am thankful to law enforcement and first responders for their quick and heroic action to save lives. My prayers are with the victims and all those impacted by this horrific incident. Now, Senators Tom Cotton and John Bozeman also sending their thoughts and prayers. The Gun Violence Archive, which is a research database that tracks gun violence, defines a mass shooting as one in which four or more people, not including the shooter, are shot or killed. According to their research, this is the sixth mass shooting in Arkansas this year and at least the 50th since 2014. On your side, I'm Lisa Hudson. All right, Lisa, thanks so much. And again, be sure to stay with Channel 7. We'll have an update on this breaking news story coming up later in this newscast. We are live here at Mad Butcher in Fordyce, and there is a shooting going on. Tragedy in four dice. Now, the total number of people shot has increased to 14. This is all from Arkansas State Police. Here is the breakdown. 11 of the victims are civilians, three of whom have died. Injuries range from non-life-threatening to extremely critical for eight others. Two police officers and the shooter himself were shot. We're told they have non-life-threatening injuries. That shooter has now been identified as 44-year-old Travis Eugene Posey from New Edinburgh. He's now facing three capital murder charges and more charges are pending. This afternoon, we heard from Mike Hager, the Secretary Department of Public Safety and the Director of the Arkansas State Police. Uh, just on behalf of the state police, the law enforcement community, all public and first responders, um, it's tragic. Our, our hearts are broken. Uh, our prayers, along with Governor Sanders, the entire state of Arkansas will be with this community and with those affected victims. Thank you. We have been on the ground in Fordyce talking with folks in the community all day long. As you can imagine, they are shocked, they are hurt, and they want answers. Channel 7's Emma Allen joins us live once again from Dallas County. Emma has been there all afternoon. She's been speaking to witnesses to this shooting. Emma, a heartbreaking day for so many in that community. Yeah, Lisa, it has been such a sad day and now a sad night here in Fordyce. You can almost feel it in the air as you drive through the community, just the sadness. I've been speaking with community members all day long and they say they're like a family here. This town is so small that it's like a family. They're just a tight knit group. And here's what they had to say. What started as a normal day for the people in Fordyce ended 
as a nightmare. I was sitting in my mama car. They was in Mad Butcher, and I heard, like, boom, boom. A gunman opening fire at a local grocery store. So far, police say 14 people were injured and three people have died. The gunman, who was also shot, is in police custody. Amaya Doherty says it's a day she will never forget. He was just shooting, like he was shooting, and I locked the door, and I got real low because my mama don't got no tent, so he was going to see us. She and her twin sister, terrified, crutched down in her mother's car, scared to be seen. And I held my sister's hand, and I told her I love her, and I prayed for her, and I was just sitting there in fear because from where I was sitting, the only thing I could see was him if he came up to it. All I seen was the sky, and I just prayed, and I was real scared, like... I would never think that would happen in Fort Ice. She was hollering. I was trying to tell her, like, hush, be quiet. He gonna hear us. So I have to keep her calm. It just happened all of a sudden. Like, we thought it was fireworks, but it wasn't. It was a man shooting. Roderick Rogers, a city councilman in Fort Ice, heard about what was happening and called it into authorities. Some of our kids that was there was on the phone with me telling me what was going on. And, they, I mean, right as he's shooting, I'm on the phone with them telling them to stay down. Rogers knew some of the victims. They were just good people, um, just at the uh, wrong place at the wrong time. And they didn't deserve it, but I've learned something in life, man. Bad things happen to good people, and I really hate it. Janera Holton said she goes to the Mad Butcher to get lunch and described the situation from today as heartbreaking. When I come to Mad Butcher to get some lunch, I'm coming to get some lunch, not to be worried about our lives. And I felt like the active shooter didn't think about no kids. He didn't think about the people that was around and the genuine people who lost their lives just because they was going through something. I felt like if you was going through something, you should have talked to somebody. Community members kept reiterating that they never expected anything like this to happen in the Fordyce community. Now, I have seen signs up on local businesses saying that they were closed today after the tragic events unfolded. And something that has really stuck out to me is everywhere you look, everybody's saying that they're praying for Fordyce here in the community. On your side in Fordyce, I'm Emma Allen. All right, and I thank you so much. Very powerful words from some eyewitnesses there. ASP is asking if you have any information on what happened here. Call the tip line at the number on your screen. That number is 870-850-8630. Evening, I'm Emma Allen in for Lisa Hudson tonight. We start our newscast off from Dallas County where we continue to follow the mass shooting tragedy from yesterday that took the lives of now four people and wounded 10 others, including two law enforcement officers. We know now that four victims Victims remain hospitalized tonight, including a woman who is in critical condition at UAMS in Little Rock. And three victims have since been released from the Dallas County Medical Center. We also know the identities of the four people whose lives were lost. 62-year-old Shirley Taylor, 23-year-old Callie Weems, 50-year-old Roy Sturgis, and 81-year-old Ellen Shrum. We told you in our 10 p.m. newscast on Friday that 44-year-old Travis Posey was arrested and charged with four counts of capital murder. We know now that Posey could face additional charges. He has since been treated for non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the Washita County Detention Center. Channel 7's Kayla Christian spent the day in Fort Ice finding out what's next for the community. She joins us now with the details. Hearts were heavy today in Fordyce as many are still in shock that their small town fell victim to a tragedy like this. It's just tragic, you know, it's just tragic. The parking lot of the Mad Butcher store was left bare where dozens of bystanders, officers, and first responders were just a day ago. One man who was at the dollar store next door recalled the moments the shooting began. It was a bunch of banging. It sounded like somebody was working on something or, or banging on something. But come find out. Another dude was doing all the shooting. His car eventually joined a fleet of others taken to the Fordyce Police Department as evidence. Many riddled with wreckage and bullet holes. A back window had been shot. Front window had been shot. I got bullet holes in my tailgate, side of my truck. But it's about, like I said, I counted, I think, 33 shots through my truck altogether. The situation leaving many uneasy about the future. It's the first time I ever seen anything like this happen. Mm -hmm. And then nobody got no reason why it's happened. The shooting that claimed the lives of four and injured multiple others has already affected many in the community. Now with mental health facilities offering free services to those in need.
we're available for, for the people in our community. Um, we want to make sure that they get the assistance and the help that they need. A lot of these traumatic experiences can, can um, you know, be very devastating and potentially cause um, some mental illness that, you know, needs to be addressed. Not only providing a safe space, but take home resources for families and individuals as well. With mental illness, it can come with a lot of different signs and symptoms. So one of the big things we're doing here is we're also educating on, on things to look for um, days to come and weeks to come. Uh, we want to make sure our, our patients and community is aware of, of what to watch for with mental illness. Now, the city is quiet as they reflect on where they've been and where they're going, with multiple signs requesting prayers for Fordyce. We want to love on people. We want to be available for people. We want to um, provide support for our community. Um, I think that when people are hurting, that's, that's the time where we come together and we take care of one another, and Fordyce does that so well. I feel confident that Fordyce will be able to come together and really love on each other and take care of each other during this, this tough time. I'm praying for Fordyce everything gets all right. The Dallas County Medical Center Stepping Stones facility will be providing their services through Monday as well as more free counseling at the Fordyce High School. The point outpatient services in Fordyce will also be welcoming the community among other agencies. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. Kayla, thank you for that update. The owners of the Mad Butcher grocery store, Houchins Food Group, sent in a statement to KATV following the tragedy, saying, quote, we are deeply saddened by the shooting incident that occurred Friday at the Fordyce Mad Butcher grocery store, which is owned and operated by Houchins Food Group. We're thankful for the rapid response from local authorities who apprehended the suspect and secured the area. Corporate and store officials are fully cooperating with law enforcement during the investigation. The store will remain closed until the investigation concludes. Please keep our employees, customers, and the Fordyce community in your thoughts and prayers. Good evening. We begin tonight with new details from the Arkansas State Police on the Fordyce mass shooting that claimed the lives of four and injured 10 others, including two law enforcement officers on Friday. 44-year-old Travis Posey was arrested and charged with four counts of capital murder. He is currently being held in the Washita County Detention Center. Arkansas State Police releasing new information today detailing the timeline of the tragic event. Channel 7's Kayla Christian attended their press conference this afternoon and she joins us now live in our studio with the details. Yes, that's right. Details are still unfolding as the Arkansas State Police investigate just what happened during this tragic event. Every trooper in my organization has heard me use the following quote. People sleep peacefully in their beds at night only because rough men stand ready to face violence on their behalf. Although the community of Fordyce experienced unspeakable violence on Friday, we're blessed by God to have rough men who stood ready and they raced to take care of their fellow citizens. According to the Arkansas State Police, it was about five minutes from the first gunshot to the time the suspect was stopped, with six local law enforcement officers arriving to the scene just three minutes after receiving the unsettling call. They say the suspect arrived to the Mad Butcher store with a 12-gauge shotgun, a pistol, and a bandolier holding multiple rounds of ammunition. We believe he immediately began engaging victims in the parking lot after exiting his truck and then proceeded into the store. Once inside, he was firing indiscriminately at both customers and employees. When law enforcement arrived on scene, the suspect exited the store and the officers redirected his attention towards them. Colonel Mike Hager with ASP says the suspect then started a gunfight with law enforcement, leaving two officers injured and the suspect disarmed. He was then taken to the Washita County Detention Center after being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The actions of the suspect were the most cowardly, pathetic actions imaginable as he was literally preying on defenseless victims, the majority of which were female including one victim, Callie Weems, a nurse who police say was shot and killed while helping another person who had been injured. ASP says though they believe the attack was at random, one of their focuses will be finding out the motive. Right now our priorities are twofold. The first being the successful prosecution of the suspect and making sure he's held accountable for his despicable actions. The second is to ensure the community of Fordyce and the citizens of Dallas County receive the support and prayers that they so desperately need. 
According to the Arkansas State Police, the suspect has a limited criminal history and they have not yet been made aware of any previous mental health issues to note. This is an ongoing investigation. On your side, I'm Kayla Christian. One couple who experienced the Ford Eye shooting firsthand tells us how their routine trip to a local store turned into a nightmare the moment gunfire erupted in the parking lot. Channel 7's Daniela Dehogany was in Ford Eye today, and she's here with us in studio now to tell us about how one family is overcoming this tragic event. Daniela. That's right, Emma. We spoke with Reverend Thomas Brazil Sr. and his wife, Sharon Brazil, who were in their vehicle initially and mistook the gunfire for fireworks because of the nearby fireworks stand. A casual trip to the grocery store on Friday turned into a nightmare for the Brazil family. Reverend Thomas Brazil says that the situation quickly escalated when the gunman walked out into the parking lot of the Mad Butcher store and turned his attention towards him and his wife. He got out of a truck or whatever he was in, and he just started shooting. I thought maybe he were, you know, at first I thought, it, you know, it's a big old firecracker staying there. I thought maybe it was some kind of firework or something that he was doing. But then he, I saw glass breaking out of the Mad Butcher. I saw the glass hit, and uh, he was walking and shooting, and that, then we said, well, maybe he's shooting somebody into it with somebody in the parking lot. And all of a sudden, he looked at us, and he shot. Reverend Brazil tells me that they grieve as a community. His family is thankful that they still have both of their parents, but the Reverend tells me for them, it's bigger than that. But I don't want it about us. I want it to be about the deceased, those who lost their lives. <sighs> the Reverend tells me that he hopes anyone going through any kind of pain can find the courage to seek help and guidance. We're just angry at the world. I don't know his problem, but I'm praying for him. I never know what an individual has been through. But he took it out on the wrong people. Families have been torn apart because of this. They have lost their lives. Loved ones have lost their lives. And we continue to keep the Fordyce community in our thoughts and prayers throughout this difficult time as the community mourns together. On your side, I'm Daniela Dehogany. Thank you, Daniela, for that update. Well, a candlelight vigil was held this evening in Fordyce across the street from the Mad Butcher grocery store, the community gathering to honor those that lost their lives on Friday.